42 people in diverse professions and backgrounds from across the region are attending the 44th edition of the flagship regional training program on gender violence against women and girls, human rights and development organized by the Fiji Women's Crisis Center. We are doing a lot. A lot of money is being invested in this space and a lot of trainings being invested in this space. But the question is, statistics-wise, I mean, Fiji, we're looking at two out of three women that have suffered some form of violence in their lifetime. And on average, around the Pacific, it's the same. Two out of three women would have suffered some form of physical or sexual abuse in their lifetime, and mostly from their intimate partners. The program, which is the only one of its kind in the region, includes four weeks of training with well-equipped resource people from Fiji and the Pacific. Participants are from civil society and government organizations in Samoa, Tuvalu, Kiribati, the Cook Islands, Vanuatu, the Solomon Islands, PNG, West Papua, Nauru and Fiji. It's very participatory, so they also bring the experiences from their country. We also are looking at... Uh, now, technology facilitated violence against women and girls. There will be another new topic. We're looking at pornography, reproductive rights. Uh, we're looking at uh, the uh, LGB plus community. Uh, we are looking at people with disabilities, so it's including all of that. So we have different resource people coming in and talking about their rights and how they experience violence and, and, and gender-based violence and things like that. Rakuita says violence emanates from gender inequality and this is perpetuated within our own homes and society. Inequality, it emanates from unequal power relations between men and women. And a lot of uh, spaces that we live in, that we play in, that we pray in, they perpetuate um, inequality which sits at the foundation of violence, what causes violence, um, and of course patriarchy. The patriarchal systems that we live in contributes to the perpetuation of violence and is actually a cause of violence. So it will be good to see the data and I'm hopeful that things would change. The four weeks program will end on the 23rd of August. Eparamua Rua, Fiji One News.